Hi, and welcome to this introduction to HTML. Now, firstly, um, I'm going to introduce you to just the basics of HTML, what, what every HTML file must have and how you should save it to make sure that it's working correctly. So here's my uh, Notepad++ that uh, I'm going to be working on. Um, it doesn't matter what software you use, whether it's not normal Notepad, Notepad++, Expression Web, or Dreamweaver, any of that, as long as you can, um, it lets you, allows you to edit HTML, it should be fine. So you don't have to use Notepad++, but I'm using Notepad++ because it's a free software and it's made for web editing and any other uh, file editing. Okay, so firstly, um, all HTML documents, they all must begin and end with HTML tag. So h.html and then right at the bottom, you close that tag off, HTML. Okay, so if you notice, um, these greater than and less than sign, the HTML is wrapped around that. These are known as a tag. So if you put um, these signs around both ends, that's known as a tag. And also to close the HTML, you put a slash and then HTML. So all tags must um, have an open tag, which is just the name inside the um, two signs, the greater than, less than sign, and one with a close tag with a slash. Okay, so all HTML documents must have them. If you write or type anything after this line, it will not be recognized or it will not be displayed in the HTML document. Now, a HTML tag followed by a head tag. Okay, so you open that head tag and you close that head tag. And then the final one is the body tag. So you open a body tag and you close a body tag. So the three tags that all HTML documents must have are the HTML tag right at the start and at the end, then the head tag and the body tag. Note that the head tag closes before the body starts. The reason for that is just like your head that's on top of your head, the head comes at the top then once the head is finished or closed then the body comes you will never have the head inside sorry the body inside of the head okay so remember these are critical mistakes or these are crucial mistakes that people tend to make where they jumble up the order they don't have a closed tag for the body they don't have a closed tag for the html and that's where the problem lies so just to test this html out we're just going to type in a line a line or text okay and we're gonna check if that works now I'm gonna save it as I naturally would save a document so I'm just gonna find my folder on desktop call HTML and I'm gonna give this a name uh, new page I'm gonna save that now if I look in my folder this is a common mistake that will happen to people if I want to view this website in my folder I'll double click it and it will just come up as a normal notepad. The reason for that is, it's because you probably have not saved your file correctly. Okay, when you go to save as, file, save as, you need to make sure at the end you put .html. If you do not put .html, yeah, it will not save as a HTML file. Notice that it's dot. Some people forget to put the dot and it just saves as a normal file. You need to make sure you put dot followed by HTML. That way, that this file will save as a HTML file. Now, once you've done that and saved it correctly, you would notice all the text on your screen has now changed. So, um, the tags have gone blue. The text has a line of text that has gone black. Now, if we go to our folder, we will notice we've got two different files. One is a text document. We don't really need that, so let's delete it. And the other one is now a Google Chrome file, meaning it's worked and saved as a HTML. Now, if we double click that, okay, there we go. Now that has worked. We've got a line of text on our screen, and now we can, so we've got our HTML page completed. Now, all we have to do is put our content, which we'll look at in um, other videos. So 